Good morning, Cindy Adder with My Artsy Endeavors. And yep, it's still morning. I still have my coffee here. I'm working on it. Um, hey, I got a challenge for you this month. First of all, it's my birthday month. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, September, here we go. Look what we are going to do. This is my challenge to you. This is a magazine called Real Simple. Um, if you don't know what that is... Trying to think if I have an extra one, and I don't think I do. But this is a magazine called Real Simple, and what it is is it's kind of like a um, like an Oprah magazine, only it talks about your your home and just different ideas for decorating and recipes and all that kind of good stuff, right? Well, what my challenge for you is: this is my newest and my latest grab and glue book. Now. Um, my challenge for you is to go find a magazine, all right? I took maybe 15 pages out of this, and you can see how my spine, let me bring you in a little bit. See how my spine is, it's rounded? I don't care. I'm totally happy with that. I tried to keep as many pages as I could in here. I did not, um, I glued maybe two pages together. Hold on, because I'm going back out. Um, maybe two of the pages I glued together and that's just because I was getting tired of gluing stuff. <laughs> to be honest, that's what it was. But um, So my challenge is to you is go find a magazine. Then I want you to get out all of your junks. And I'm talking scrap junks. This is by no means all of it, but this just happens to be what's sitting here on my desk right now. Alright, so this is all just junk 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 stuffs so I'm gonna challenge you I want you to go get your junk stuffs let's take that let's take some of that we'll take a piece of this oh, let's take this piece of paper take a coffee filter whoops oh, let's throw a piece of that in there it's a gold paper let's see what else we got here what's this that's a piece of like cork board thing we'll use that um, We'll use this. All right, so I want you to go through, get your scraps out. I want you to take your magazine, and then every page, what you're going to do is you are just going to um, glue down scraps. Now, I on this book, I don't have any more is why I don't have it out, but I use just a plain old Elmer's glue stick. Okay, that was it. That's all I used. I used a little bit of washi here and there in the binding just because I wanted to. This was some fabric tape that I used just to use it up. Um, and what you do, I just, I don't know, I left that there. That's fine. Uh, is you go through in every page. You don't have to do like um, collage like this or glue like this. You can do just one sheet of paper. And see, I used Elmer's glue. So some of these I'm going to have to go back on. <clears throat> Pardon me, I've got a frog in my throat this morning. <clears throat> my lungs are not happy again. Um, so, and I'm going to go through, and as I go through the book, there's some things here and there that'll come up, and if they do, that's fine, just glue them back down. But what I want you to do is go through, see this one here? Just going to glue it back down again. And so my pages don't stick together, I'll just wipe it. There you go. And you're going to put together a book. This, Like I said, this is just a grab and glue book. I'm going to show you my pages. So that one's up and up. Oh, let's do it again. I'm going to pull this one up a little bit. And just wipe it down. All right, and this is going to be my challenge for you for September. Um, now, am I telling you you have to fill this book up in September? No, because there's no way in heck I would either. Um, I would just, I'm just going to play in this throughout the rest of the year. Will it get done by December? I don't know. We'll see. But when you, like I said, this is a single paper, but when you put all of this stuff on it, it becomes quite hard. It becomes sturdy, very sturdy. And like I said, I just went through with, um, 
my scrap bins and I just started putting stuff down. Do they make rhyme to reason? No, not really. But this is just a piece that came out of a Flow magazine, so I stuck it in there. See, the original magazine page is right there, which is fine. I may use a gelato or something to go around. I don't know. This is just a grab and glue. <clears throat> I just put stuff down, and this is the very base of it. This is just the beginnings of this journal. This is a big Flow paper. Found this in my um, stash. Again, the original page is right here. You can see it on the outside. More glued down. And I, I like to do this when um, my scrap drawers get really, really full. It drives me crazy when I can't shut my plastic drawers full of scraps. Hence why I have a box here. So I go through my scraps and I'll, and I'll do one of these books. And I decided this time to do a big one. That one's not too bad. It's okay. Old envelopes. This is some washi I wanted to use up. It was a really wide washi and I just, it didn't fit right in my drawers. So I used it up on this book. This came out of flow. This is just some randomness with numbers. This is envelopes bunch of envelopes. This came out of a Flow magazine. This I cut out of probably a um, Somerset Studio magazine. Took me a minute. A little sheet of music. Like I said, just odds and ends. Okay, this is the page I did not do yet. <clears throat> and that's what this is for. I'm going to do the page while I'm on the camera. And again, this is just paper. Straight paper. And you know, will it stay like this? I have no idea. It depends on the mood I'm in. Probably not. I'll probably add more to it. But this is all just paper that was in my my uh, drawers that I just needed to get out of there because it was driving me crazy. This was a jelly, a piece of deli paper of jelly print that somebody had sent to me. Love how it feels. Feels really cool. Again, just more. Stuff. Did I forget one? No. This came out of an old book that I found. I found that at a junk store. Piece of washi tape. More pages. More pages. This was the advertisement on you know how you can order their book. The real simple. And I just left these in here. Um, this one, what I'll do. First, I'm going to find the right tool. I will take this. Didn't even go through. Cut the whole thing off. All right. There's more than one way to do this. Let's do it like this. There we go. Now I have a pocket. So this will be a pocket that I'll do eventually. This came out of that same book that um, one yellow piece of paper did. So just scrap pieces of paper. Um, I used to do scrapbooking, so I have a ton of this kind of paper, and um, I really need to use it up. So I figured what a great way to use it up other than right here in this book. Some napkins I found in my drawer. This is some fabric um, paper I had. Just odds and ends. Just stuff. This one flips out. Um, jelly print. Ouch. This is just some cardstock I had, and these two flowers have been punched out of it, so I just left them there. This was from a Happy Mail. <clears throat> Is that it? 
Not one more. All right. This is a piece of paper that I bought at like a. Um, I think I got this at Jerry's Artorama. It's one of those specialty pieces of paper. I absolutely love it. And then this is see the little holes right there. This is a um, gift bag from the dollar store. Um, I always look at the gift bags when I go in there because I never know. You know, some of the things are just really cool on there, and I love this butterfly. And this is just a, a roll of washi tape, it says Be Inspired, that I got somewhere. I don't know where. So let's go back to this page, and what I'm going to show you, and like I said, this is very, very simple. There's nothing crazy about it. It's just exactly what I call it, grab and glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of gluing down part of this page. And we're just going to grab and we're going to glue. And that's my hair. Sorry about that. I don't want that in there. There you go. Grab and glue. I'm going to use more of this, but hang on a second. I'm going to put this down in here. This is just a piece of a file folder. I'm going to put a little bit more glue on this just because of how heavy it is. And I'm just going to stick it in. There's glue on the front side because, yes, I know I laid it over the glue spot. That's fine. This came from Arby's, maybe? Which I very, very rarely go there. But when I do, I just ask, can I have a couple of those deli pieces of paper? Sure. And they hand them to you. They look at me kind of funny, but I don't care. And here you go. See, it's upside down. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Let's see. I want some of this in here. Let's throw that right there. Let's get some good glue on that. Yeah. So funny. I was talking one day to somebody. And I said, yeah, I've never done any coffee or um, tea dyed stuff. I just, I haven't done that. And then I got to think about it. Every morning I drink a large cup of coffee, which is made through a coffee pot. Not one of them Keurig things because, uh, yeah, let's not go there. Um, number one, they're, I just, they never get clean. But anyways, um, so I'm like, why don't I use, I'm throwing these things away every day. Why don't I use them? So guess what? I have coffee filters now. <laughs> so I got them out. I got a few out. I don't keep all of them. My God, if I did, I'd have a huge, huge pile. But I got some out and uh, let them clean them all off and let them dry. And I just like that that look that it gives. Stop it. Let's see. I want some of this gold paper. Let's throw this down here. Like I said, this is essentially, when I say grab and glue, I'm grabbing and gluing. I'm going to use this side just because it's semi-straight. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter I covered somebody up. Nope. I'm just trying to cover the page. What else do I have here? I got this piece of paper bag. Let's take it down to one layer. Make it, there we go. That'll work. It's not glued all the way. There we go. Glued. There is just something so satisfying about gluing stuff on paper. Gluing paper to paper. I could do this all day long. Here's a piece of cork. Let's throw this piece of cork in here. Looks like it's on a... I don't know if that's on a sticky. Let's see if that's a sticky bag cork. I don't think it is. It's almost like it's on a fabric. Huh. Piece of cork. And I have this little pop of color. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Gosh, only knows what's going to happen to this page. Alright. 
And there we go. That's my grab and glue. And these I'll stick back in the jug for another time. I didn't use that, but you know, I could use that. Right then I missed my paper. Let's do this. I like that. I want a piece of that on there. Totally put it on there. There you go. A piece is on. Let's throw this piece on. No, let's just wait. I don't want to wait. Let's throw this piece on. That works. Love it. Make sure everything's cleaned off so when I shut my book, and I will actually sit in an afternoon and do this entire book. Well, I have to get up and come back and get up and come back, but you know what I mean. And as long as you wipe it off really good with some type, this is one of my paint rags. Um, as long as you wipe it off really good, it's not going to stick together. Okay, so there's my challenge. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. I want to see your magazine, what you're going to do with it. Um, let's start a grab and glue. Now, as I do these pages, some of them I will record. A lot of them I will not because when I do my grab and group glues, I'm usually on the couch and it's usually a pain day. And trust me, you don't want me doing a video that day. So, um, like I said, I'm going to play around with this. This is my next grab and glue project. I hope you guys join me and we'll have a lot of fun and use up some of those scraps that are hanging around like these. Oh, see, here's a couple more, um, a couple more bags. And I figure for a dollar, aren't they cool? Look at that. How cool of a cover would that make? This would just make an awesome journal cover. So there's one. Here's another one that I thought was really cool. Wouldn't that be neat as a journal cover? So um, don't forget to check out in your dollar stores for your bags and stuff. Plus you get these extra little tags and the rope and whatever. So um, that's what that's all about. So I hope you guys join me. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I will answer them for you. And happy creating. Have fun. That's what life's all about. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.